Soft Tube does not miss a beat. Every single time they release something, our minds are pretty much blown. And I love the guys because they don't fuss around that much. It's not like a month preview of something that will come later on. No, just one day they call me and say like, hey, next week, this is coming up. So I'm kind of used to that. But for this one, I was like, what the heck? Not only because this time they modeled undoubtedly one of the best sounding tube compressors on the market, but they model the one that got away from me. I have a lot of gear and we could argue I don't need any more, <laughs> but still I find myself at least once a month and I have been for years taking a look at the TubeTech SMC2B multiband tube compressor. Should I buy it now? I keep looking at it and I keep thinking about getting it because it's one of my favorite compressors of all time. Used on countless records by many engineers, most notably Al Schmidt, rest in peace, used to use this one on his two bus pretty much all the time. This is one of the classiest sounding compressors ever. And if we go with what we know about soft tube analog emulation, this thing slays. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixfest TV. Hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for free plugins, special discounts, and of course, links to the TubeTech SMB2C multiband compressor. And if you haven't already, please check the new website, mixfesttv.com. In there, you will find all the new mix and mastering courses start to finish on many different genres, including the latest two releases, mixing hip hop and EDM 2023. In there, you can also book mix consultations, one-on-one -on -one lessons, mixing mastering, production and so on. And if you want to up your mix and mastering game, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, access the exclusive videos, get mix consultation as well. And if you like the videos, please consider using the super thanks and support the channel. Let's get to the video. Let's start with the GUI. I can't stop smiling because I'm so freaking genuinely happy that I have a plug-in version of this compressor. You have no idea. And I'm happy that Softube did it. First of all, the SMC to be the real hardware is as far as I know, the world's only all tube multiband compressor. This compressor is basically three independent opto compressors in one. Resizable GUI we have for each band, threshold, ratio, attack, release, and gain, and an LED segment meter for the gain reduction. On the top right, we have the balance knob. This is a gain control for left and right, channel one and channel two. It goes from zero to 1.5 dB on either side. This knob is present in the real hardware. Like many tube units, uh, the tube tech, for example, the HG2 has it as well, and other machines, when you have so many tubes inside a unit, even if the tubes are matched to perfection, sometimes you need to adjust left or right balance. And we could argue that we don't need this in digital world, but I think they model this because it's part of the circuit. In doing so, they are as close as possible as the real unit. We then have the global output gain and a switch on off comp. On the left side, we have the crossover frequencies, two crossover frequencies. The first one sets the crossover between the top and the mid, and the second one between the mid and the low band. And you can see there's also a switch called X over low. This multiply the lower frequency selected by the X over low. We have the external side chain switch here at the bottom and also soft tube added mid side processing, which is very useful. And you can leave the channels linked whether you are in left right mode, stereo mode or mid side mode, or you can unlink the channels and you can see here the left light tells you that these are the controls for the left or mid channel. And when you press the right or side bulb, you have a new set of controls. You can also mute each individual band to fine tune your settings for the compression. Dry wet knob added to the original design. And of course, I never say this about soft plugins, but all the new soft plugins have these extra functions and metering. We have an input level, an output level, and at the bottom, headroom and high pass. So one word before going to the audio test, this is, like I said in the intro, one of the classiest sounding compressors ever made. But I know a lot of people associate tubes with a ton of color, a ton of grit, sometimes close to distortion, okay? The TubeTech SMC2B is not that kind of unit. 
So don't expect the kind of color that you would get, for example, driving a 670 or the kind of saturation that you would get from an HG2. The SMC2B is a more subtle type of tube saturation. Very classy, typical tube that shine at the top end. I want to say this, before being a tube compressor is an opto compressor. So see it that way. So that classic tube tech opto behavior, now you have three bands, three independent, although this compressor is not 3CL1B uh, like some people think. There's much more to it. But while you can completely mangle a mix with this because you have so much versatility and three bands of control, this is more a unit of subtleties and class where the details are all that matters. Without further ado, let's hear it in action. I already set this one really quick. Let's do a simple with and without. I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes I know that you heard this, I deserve this After what the hurt did, it done turned out perfect I'm just trying to sound like what real sound like I'm still the same down guy, same down vibes I know that you heard this, I deserve this After what the hurt did, it done turned out perfect I told you I'd make it, but all you had shown me was down You told me it's useless, just give up and throw in the Guys, <laughs> besides the low end, which becomes so round and smooth and warm, and see I'm compensating even less than what I'm compressing, and it becomes punchier, which is very unusual, especially for an opto compressor. But we have so much control, and like I said before, tube tech opto compression is such a signature sound. But besides that, listen to where we go into the verse, how alive the mid range gets without first Perfect. i told you i'd make it but all you had shown me was down you told me it's useless just give up and throw in the towel ain't seen my potential i thought you'd be holding me down but sometimes a king come from nothing we don't need a crown yeah i got everything i ever could have asked for I use the real thing <laughs> and I can't stop smiling and I, and I also use the, the TubeTech uh, CL1B and you recognize that kind of shine and action on, on the vocals, it's crazy. For how silly this is going to sound and maybe because I'm excited because I am excited, I think this is closer to the real SMC than the CL1B, which is close already and please notice that I am compensating so the output is a zero i'm compensating for less for each band than i'm compressing i want to go mid side same song with and without same settings There is so much change, even with the slightest turn of an knob. Like for example, listen to the low mid range. When I go from where I had the low crossover set around 170 and I move it to 100 because the mid band start compressing more because there's more energy up there and it kind of cleans up and I just moved the crossover. Going back to stereo. The compression on the low end becomes so precise at this point. And because we are modeling analog crossovers, of course, there is the action of the crossover itself. So at the corner frequency, you will have a change. And the key with multiband compressors, I've said this in uh, previous mixing courses, one of the keys of multiband compressors is setting up the crossovers to your advantage using the phase shift that happens on analog crossovers. Let's change track. I want to try to brighten up a little bit this mix and bring up like the mid-range.
it sounds pretty incredible and this track didn't really need compression you can also see it from the waveform so we can grab another more dynamic mix to try this but before doing that let me mute the two top bands and only basically solo the low band so you can hear what the multiplier does so we are monitoring only the low end right now So when you click on the multiplier switch, you're multiplying by four the frequency selected here. Go again. Let me hate, let me off the crazy train. I'm sick of your face, I'm sick of heartache. Goodbye, goodbye to the tears, goodbye, goodbye to the fears. Good times, let's pull a die. Good times, aren't in That low end is incredible. Yeah, there's something about the sound of this compressor and the low end and the tube circuit that it just, it's one of a kind. Like I said, I'm super biased because one, this is, the hardware is one of my favorite compressors of all times. And I'm also biased if you want to call it that way because Softube never let me down. I mean, every single thing that they put out uh, has been great. But let's get away from full mixes for a second because this is an amazing vocal compressor. All right, very dynamic female vocal as you can see from the tracks. And I'm gonna mute top and bottom. I just wanna focus on the mid range and get that mid band dialed in. I was born to run, I don't belong to anyone. Oh no, don't need to be loved by you. Fire in my lungs can bite the devil on my tongue. Oh no. Don't need to be loved by you See my lips on her mouth Everybody's talking now, baby Ooh, you know it's true All right, here's something very interesting And you can see that this being a female vocal the low end wasn't catching any compression so knowing this instead of moving the crossover i just click the multiplier and if you notice you can see the compression happening now on the low band when i switch back to four by i was born to run i don't belong to anyone oh no don't need to be loved by you Fire in my lungs can bite the devil on my tongue, oh no. And I wanna now set the top band, so I'm gonna mute bottom and mid, and I kinda wanna use the top band like a de -esser, even if we don't have problems with S's on this vocal. It's just to show you how you can use this. Let's get a little faster attack, and let's move the crossover really high. I was born to run, I don't belong to anyone, oh no. Don't need to be loved by you Fire in my lungs can bite the devil on my tongue Oh no Don't need to be loved by you I like it, I like where it's grabbing So let's unmute everything and see how it sounds We probably have to compensate a little bit because I'm not touching actually the individual gains for this. I don't wanna change the tone of the vocal too much. I just wanna control it, and if I need, I will adjust the individual gains. I was born to run, I don't belong to anyone. Oh no, don't need to be loved by you. Fire in my lungs can bite the devil on my tongue. Oh no. Don't need to be loved by you See my lips on her mouth Everybody's talking now, baby Ooh, you know 
it's true. All right, we can push that mid range. It sounds amazing. We can push that mid range a little more. So now for this one, I want to hear the compression. I want to hear the compressor pushing. So I'm just going to look for some serious gain reduction here. I was born to run. I don't belong to anyone. Oh no. Don't need to be loved by you. Fire in my lungs can bite the devil on my tongue. Oh no. Don't need to be loved by you. See my lips on her mouth. Everybody's talking now, baby. Ooh, you know it's true. That I was born to run, I don't belong to anyone. It's such a signature sound, even on lead vocal. And this vocal doesn't really have any problem, but for problematic recordings, a multiband compressor is one of the first choices. Dynamic EQ multiband compressor, if you have a recording that is very unruly and two dynamics where maybe if the singer goes and sing in the lower range, that's a problematic area now. She or he goes high. Now 2K, 3K is the problem. That's when you want a multiband compressor as opposed to a wideband. Let's do another dynamic vocal. I'm gonna keep it under the curve a little more for this. I guess I kind of like the way you numbed all the pain. Now the day bleeds into nightfall and you're not here to get me through it all. Let my guard down, then you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you loved. It's so interesting to have three opto compressors because it's so different from basically any other compressor out there and definitely from a, from a wide band. But I hope you can recognize the color, that classy sound that I was mentioning at the beginning. One thing I wish, I hope the guys at Softube do this for me <laughs> and for everybody else, I wish there was a temporary link channel. It's like if I wanna move all the thresholds at once, all the ratios at once, all the release at once. Uh, just a temporary click. I know it's not on the original unit, so you, we can't blame him for not having it, but please <laughs> put one for me. Dude, <laughs> acoustic guitar is one of the hardest instruments to compress because you can always hear the compression and you know, pop songs or some other genres, it's fine, that's what we want. But at least me, more often than not, I kinda don't wanna hear the action of the compression. I wanna hear it pumping, I don't wanna hear it swinging down too much. I just wanna hear more density and more detail and a more dynamically controlled performance. And this one gives me that plus. It's got that crazy shine in the mid-range and top mid-range. Listen to this without first. The low level hits, they come up so nicely. Okay, so what about something for the EDM guys? Let's try this. I think it hits pretty hard. <laughs> you can make this thing snap, don't get me wrong.
But you see the tonal shaping possibilities with this. I'm not compensating anything with the, with the output gain, the main output. I'm just reshaping the tone using the compression and I'm exaggerating beyond reason now with compression. But I'm reshaping the tone using the three gain output for each band. Just to show you this thing is an absolute beast. And I think this is it for this video. Hats off to Softube for making one of my favorite compressors of all time, the SMC2B. I wanna know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know, share the video. This is a world premiere, of course, here on Mixbus TV. We are seeing this compressor first. Consider using the super tanks to support the channel if you like the content. The link to the TubeTech SMB2C is gonna be in the info box down below, along with a bunch of discounts and free plugins. Please go check out the new website for all the mix and mastering courses. If you wanna up your mix and mastering skills and get mix consultations, click the join button down here become a mixbus tv member thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already stay safe see you next time